over the last 20 years, if people had uh, been out of the market on like the best 50 days, their portfolio would be down X percent. A lot of people that I know, including like some of my inner voices are saying now it's too expensive now, right? It's not the right time. It's not, a, it's not a good time back then. Like that was a great time. And the problem is back then it didn't feel like a good time either. Right? Like back then it was like, oh, well, like you said, people were discouraging you from doing it. They said, it's going to go down, it continued to go down. They said it rebounded too quickly. Right. There's a lot of different arguments right now. They're saying, oh, it's gone up too quickly. It can't sustain this level. And, um, at the end of the day, it's, it just never feels like a good time. Right. And there's always a reason to sit on the sidelines, but you've got to take action. You know, there's always deals out there to be made somewhere. Of course you can overpay for a property, but it doesn't mean that you should use that as an excuse to just put your hands up and not do anything because it's competitive everywhere. It's competitive in real estate. It's competitive in dental. It's competitive in uh, commercial real estate. There's always competition. And so, yeah, you just have to uh, essentially, you know, buckle up and buckle down and, uh, and take that leap of faith. Yeah. You have to play the game. Yeah. You have to, you have to be in the game. Right. And um, I was, I was listening to a YouTube podcast this morning and he was talking about how, um, if people over the last 20 years, if people had, uh, been out of the market on like the best 50 days in the market, like their portfolio would be down X percent, you know, if, you, but if you're in the market, if you're, if you're playing the game, um, when there's highs and when there's lows, like you're going to ultimately win.